Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. This will be for my, my European and African and I think probably Asia folks on here on YouTube because it'll be y'all daytime. It's almost 1 a.m. Where I'm at in the States, just not leaving the office, been working working hard didn't get to get on youtube mark your calendars november 29th got seven new courses coming out on tonygaskinsacademy.com if you don't have an account you can go create a, an account even though you can't buy a course right now but just mark your calendar november 29th that's not this friday but next friday at 10 a.m eastern that's 10 a.m florida time We'll have new courses available. And that's what I've been working on today, filming courses. And I had to do, you know, a lot of work for my family on other stuff. So didn't get to shoot no video. But wanted to talk to you about that. You know, just where sometimes you got to prioritize and you got to focus on you and you got to do what you got to do. And then you got to fit things in where you can. Got to get in where you fit in, like they say. And you got to be able to do that. And we can't make excuses. So one thing, my wife, she wanted to bring me an iced coffee up to the office. But I just couldn't do that to her because I know she'd be sleeping at nighttime. And I just didn't want her to be making an iced coffee, leaving the house, bringing it to me. And she would have did it. And that really just touched my heart. I'm like, man, just to see this woman love me that much because i got a coffee maker at the office i got a keurig at the office and i got an ice maker so i mean i can make my own version of iced coffee it ain't gonna taste like hers but you know being a protector and a provider i couldn't have her get on the road that time of night to come bring me no coffee and i i, I was gonna work all night but i had to listen to my body because my body tired <laughs> so because I'm doing a lot of talking. When you're filming courses, you're doing a lot of talking. So basically, you know, if I probably did 160 minutes worth of talking or something like that. And so, you know, on one course, so that's a lot of talking. That's, you know, going on three hours of talking and you teaching and all of this. So with these courses you're gonna need a pen and pad now you're gonna need the pause you're gonna need the pause you're gonna need to write because these are gonna be real courses right here we breaking on down and so they'll be up if any of them not done then it'll just be a pre-order and i'll be releasing it in a week or two from then and you'll be able to go ahead and get the ones started that that are available and then just pre-order the other ones and I put in the title or I specify, oh, this is a pre-order. But I'm hoping to have all seven of them done. Lord willing, just depending on my time because, you know, family first. And had some opportunities coming up this week. But again, you know, had to make an executive decision just with the family and the timing and just everything going on. And, you know, had to pass on some things. And that's, that's just life. You know, not everything could be a yes. You got to know when to say no. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, like the songs say. And not everything could be a yes. And there's there's power in your no. And you got to know when you got to say no. And when you got to let go, when you got to move on. So, want to pop on here just holler at my, my folks on the other side of the world and let you know that sometimes you know y'all waking up getting ready for work and i'm just finishing work getting ready for bed and one thing about it that i love about my wife she do not mind no hard working man she do not mind that because a lot of days i make my work look easy but in a situation like this she do not mind no hard working man and so I know a lot of people, oh, you should have been home. I, I be worried about what my husband doing. He coming home one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's why your marriage tore up. Or well, that's why you, you can't get now because your mindset. Got to change that mindset. You got to learn from those of us in a healthy relationship how the dynamics of a healthy relationship look. A lot of times people don't realize that. 
when you got a healthy relationship, it's not all that policing your partner. Like my wife, I'm finna, I'm finna walk in the house and I guarantee she finna be knocked out of sleep. Now she gonna roll around a little bit when I get ready to go in here and get in the shower. But other than that, she finna be knocked out of sleep. And then when I walk in the house, she gonna sleep deeper. Now she, she gonna go into a deeper sleep when I get into the house, but it's just, she not gonna be sitting out there. She ain't sitting out there losing sleep and just up. She ain't blowing me up, calling me. She ain't popping up to the office to see if I'm up there, what I'm doing, what I got going on and all of that. Because trust in a real relationship, you're gonna have that trust and you're gonna be able to work together and trust one another. Now, this week, it's been a lot of talk about this hypergamy, which is what y'all call hypergamy. And we're gonna be talking about it and y'all still sending me, I guess I need to title it the new trophy wife for y'all to see that I already talked about it when I said the downsides of hypergamy, that video. But some people writing in and not even looking at the videos that I done did. So I'm gonna have to just name it the new trophy wife so that y'all to see, okay, I have covered this topic for y'all now. All right, moving on along. Moving on along. God bless you. Keep your head up. We done with this topic. And the reason why I just don't deal with that, the reason why I don't want to spend too much time on the hypergamy is because for one, it's not really a real thing for most women. <laughs> like, it's only 1% of women that's finna get a man who got money. Because a lot of men ain't got no money. So, that's not really something that a lot of women can do and a lot of men with money already in a relationship you're not really meeting too many men who got money and ain't already got no relationship and the ones who out here and available is most likely gonna be athletes who gonna cheat on you anyways <laughs> you finna get cheated on just like Tayana Taylor, strong behind. Look how strong she is. All them abs and dancing moves and Kasane and still getting cheated on. Look at look at all now by doggone hundred million Cardi B to made, still getting cheated on. So it's like a lot of these men with money, they ain't worth nothing. So it's like they got money and still ain't worth nothing. So that's not really a thing. And then a lot of the women who get into it really don't know what they getting into. Like they don't really understand hypergamy themselves. They just wanna be taken care of and they wanna have a man with means and they wanna be provided for and they wanna be able to get everything they want but they don't understand that ain't nothing free. Ain't no free lunches. You gonna pay now or you gonna pay later, but you gonna pay a price. Then the other men who not athletes and all of that who got money is just typically men who they mo they most of them are foreigners. They guys from other countries who they don't take American women serious anyways. They they see American women as imbeciles and they don't want their own woman because they don't really have a whole plethora of them over here. So they really don't want a woman from their own country. But a lot of these men are doctors and engineers and these guys. And it ain't, I don't really consider it hypergamy because they don't be making nothing but 200, 300,000, which in the grand scheme of things really ain't no whole lot of money. Like, yeah, you could, yeah, you could do a little something like, but you not finna be swimming in cash <laughs> unless y'all frugal and you just swimming in cash, but you can't spend it. So you ain't doing nothing but swimming in it, but you can't spend it. But you not really finna find no man who is a millionaire and he gonna be faithful and loving and kind and caring. <laughs> that really doesn't exist. So if that's what you waiting on, you fit to be your your hypergamy fit to be 
yammy hurt. I mean, that's hypergamy backwards. You finna have a yammy hurt. And that's, that's, uh, what that mean is a bad STD. And that's what you're gonna have. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, you finna go through H-E double hockey sticks and high water. You finna be stressed out. You hear me? You finna be in too deep. Frustrated. You hear me? Listening to country music, blues. I mean, you gonna be ready to pull your weave out. Everything. You gonna be looking a mess in that hypergamy. And that's why I'm purposely call it hypergamy instead of hypergamy because it makes no sense to me and it is not a real thing the only women who got a man with money and talking about it is the few that might be on the youtube but just in everyday life you really not seeing that on average you see it every now and then but you really ain't seeing that oh my son but he ain't even come outside so the garbage cans still out here see i gotta come home and do teenagers do this but hey this tony gas i done made it home got to get off the phone so i can open my garage because i don't have it programmed in my car so my phone out god bless you we'll talk soon